Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Starcloud and we are playing Valheim. So nice to get back into this game. It's just uh it's been a it's been a few days since I've been on. Uh had a nice little weekend over the Labor Day. And uh yeah. Just trying to get used to the controls again, of course. Always have to do that, making sure that we're uh tip top in shape to go against our enemies. Yes. Good. All right. <laughs> oh, nice little level up there. So let's see, where were we? We were... Ah, yes, we had a lot of bees and quite a bit of fruit. We were getting prepared to move our base. Potential base was over here, and I think that's what we're going to do. So in this episode, we are definitely going to be relocating. So first things first, probably going to want to make sure that we're all repaired on everything that we have. Okay. Uh, we currently have quite a bit of arrows, so we're good in that department. Let us grab as much wood as we can carry, first of all. Uh, we can drop some of this. Um... Ah, this is actually the first time I've done this, so we are actually over encumbered right now. This is what happens when you are encumbered. Uh, your stamina will drop, and as you can see, it doesn't recover because we are um, 8 weight above our 300. And um, it's actually pretty bad. You cannot jump when you're encumbered. And uh, it's actually a really bad place to be in. So uh, some ways to get rid of that is to say, oh, okay, let's just drop some wood, and your stamina recovers. Pick it back up, cover it again. That's a way to kind of get around it. But um, what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna split our stack a couple times until we have the optimal weight. Let's get rid of one more. Okay, we have to get rid of one more. Perfect. Okay, now it is actually raining right now. I'm not too sure if it's nighttime or not. Ale Warrior. Ah, will he talk about it? Hugen. Hugen's going to give us uh, a little bit of stuff. If you carry too much luggage, you will become encumbered, slowing you down and preventing you from regaining your stamina. Exactly. Thank you, Hugen. Thank you. Going to the sky, birdie. <laughs> Don't know why I've uh, put on this terrible Scandinavian voice. Do not believe it's very accurate at all, but um, we'll run with it. So, what we're gonna do... It is raining, but we're gonna go up there. And what we're gonna try to do is build ourselves a little home before we move all of our stuff there. Because it's much nicer to have a... Well, not in all cases, but when it's such a small move like this, it's nice to have everything built before uh, moving everything. Because it doesn't require you to have to move everything again once you're um, once you're there finally there. Either way, it works out. Um, but when you're doing big moves, then I could see bringing a bunch of stuff with you and then uh, trying to build up from there. We're not going to go too crazy though with this base. It's going to be a temporary home. Uh oh. Let's get our club out. Let's go clubbing. <laughs> Nice. And we are just about to Ikthir, his realm. Looks like we have another, uh, another enemy. He is in the- oh, did you see the yellow? So the yellow is critical. They are definitely weak to fire. Yellow damage means you have found what they are weak to. Alright. So there's Ike Deer's home. And we are going to set up base just a bit further north in this clearing. Just up this hill here. Being wet like this isn't optimal, but I think we can handle it. Sometimes we have to be like the UPS men, you know? Or is it USPS? Through rain, 
snow, sleet, snow, through, yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> okay, so we weren't going to build on this hill, per se, like, exactly on the hill. What we're gonna try to do is build somewhere down here, where it's a little bit flatter. Um, perhaps just about in this area. This could be fine. Um, actually, this is even better. Okay. Just down here. Okay. So, let's see. What should we do? Uh, we're going to need to use our hammer to craft ourselves a workbench to be able to build. So we got that going. Uh, what else? Well, we actually do have a hoe on us, which means we can level the ground. And that's going to be good for our foundation. So what we should try is something like this. Just going across, trying to make a little bit of room for ourselves without digging up too much land. Something this wide, that's pretty nice. Now we can go a bit further in uh, until you hit a point to where you can't anymore because at some point like this, we're just going uphill at this point. The hoe can only do so much and that's when the, the pickaxe will be our new friend when it comes to uh, taking out some more earth. But we don't currently have the gags. So, a hoe should be fine. And, uh, yeah. We can at least get this much area. Which is considerably larger than our current home. This is going to be sort of like a longhouse, I think. There oh, we go. Alright. Now this bit over here isn't as level as I'd like it to be. I don't know if we can dig it up a little bit more. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Alright. I think that's about as level as we're going to get it. So, what we're going to do now is start building. So let's start with some floors. Uh, ideally, we don't get soil onto our floor popping up so we're going to try to get it as close as we can without uh, doing that ah interesting so this is actually not touching the ground but this is so if we manage to surround it that'll be fine having a green floor is fine um, ideally you'd want it to be blue but even this isn't touching the ground. You can probably tell just enough to where it's not. But well, that's okay. We're not going to be building a mega structure here. So the way that the the stability works in this game is the higher up you go, the less stable. Uh, your higher tiered levels are going to be. Um, even these. Oh, these are way worse. Okay, we can't have that. That won't be good. Okay. So perhaps what we can do to get around this is we can kind of uh, fudge it a little bit by hoeing up some more dirt and perhaps bringing up the uh, the level a little bit. Like this. Hmm. It's still green, huh? Still green. Try to get it to blue, but that's okay. So let's do something like this. Hmm. Yeah, look at that. That's way different. So maybe we're gonna have to start at a little bit of a lower level. So this end is definitely higher. So let's start on this end. Uh, something like... Like 
this, perhaps? If we can get it four wide, then that'll be fine. Maybe ideally we go for five wide. Just to get enough. Enough room to put some storage and things like that. It's starting to get dark out, so it could be nighttime. But being in a clearing like this and it being the meadows, I think we'll be okay. Alright. And that's when the soil starts to meet us. So, how is this? It's not terrible. What we can do is we can continue to go out on these three. Oh, now it's nighttime. And uh, perhaps we can continue just a little bit more to get our bed, a spot for our bed here. So this could be like a little bedroom area. It's a little bit uneven, of course, it's not symmetrical at all, but we're, uh, we're working with the land here. It's getting a little bit harder to see this, but we can actually, I think we can actually pull off five lengths wide. And I'll assume that, uh, there's going to be some monsters spawning around pretty soon. This is good. This is wide. I like it. It gets a little bit narrower over here, but that's fine. Okay. It's a nice little home. Feels like. Alright. So next... Oh, rain stopped. That's good. Hopefully our wet skill will go way down. Now we can already see that our hammer is uh, taking a lot of uh, durability hits, so what we can do to uh, fix that is we can put a temporary roof over a wall here. Let's grab our workbench for more wood, and let's craft a workbench right below the roof. Now it might not, it might not work, yep, okay, it's too exposed, so what we have to do is perhaps make another wall next to it with another roof next to that. How's this? Okay, so what we'll do is we'll set it right in between. So hopefully it will think that it is... Oh, it's still too exposed. Okay. Then let's do something like this then. Put a wall here. Oh, looks like we need to eat. How's that? There we go. Perfect. Now, having these walls here um, are perfect. We need those. And let's also eat. Make sure that we're capped out on that. Placing these is good. Make sure that we're doing it right. We want to see that snap effect happen. Now, if you hold shift, you won't get the. Or is it control? No. Left. Le so shift will make it to where it won't snap as much. But we are not going to do that. We are going to do this. Do a little wrap around. And we're almost out of wood. Totally fine. And we can get one more wall there. Alright. We need a little bit more wood. But uh, we got a good structure going on. And uh, we can uh, clear out some of these logs and stumps while we're at it, just to get all this out of the way. We're working through the night. We're on the night shift. Let's see if we can get some stamina back here. 
No monsters in sight, we like to see that. And we're actually fairly close to the mountain right there. We'll make sure not to get too close to that. Okay. So what we could do also is let's find some abandoned huts that we passed. And we can just uh, scavenge some wood from that. That's one of the fastest ways to get wood. Mm -hmm. Hello, necks. This is your neck of the woods, eh? Did it. <laughs> that was terrible. Okay, uh, let's get our hammer out. And uh, we'll place a crafting station here. So that we can get rid of this structure. Easiest way, just taking out the lower walls, the lower support, so that everything else can crush down. Is that it? Should be it. There we go. Everything else should come on down. Now we have basically no wood. Now we can see uh, what we'll get out of this little haul. Oh, you can do it. <laughs> it's fun just watching it happen. But, um, all right, let's see what this gave us. And also, it just cl it cleans up the world a little bit. See, look at that, nice stack. Plus, we still have some more wood from these uh, floors. What do you know? Perfect. Let's see if we can, uh, well, we have a lot of weight on us now, but let's see if we can do another one. Uh, oh, that's a boar. Don't want to kill any boars right now. Um, let's pull our hammer off. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, there's one. Perfect. A monster here. And goodbye, the little grayling. Alright, what's this place looking like? Let's do another uh, deconstruction. And get rid of uh, these walls. And we'll do the floors as well. I think we got those. Perfect. Is that everything? Oh, there's one. There we go. I like these little posts sticking out of the ground. Oh, what is this? More wood? I think, oh, there's another one. I think we just about got it all. And yeah, two stacks, looking great. Almost full inventory. Now I'm not quite sure if that's quicker than just cutting down a few trees, but it does clear up the land a little bit too. It does do a lot of damage to the hammer though, which means we're going to have to um, build a roof as quick as possible to make another uh, workbench that works. Which we still have here. So I think if we manage to just put a couple roofs over this, it should do the trick. Something you have to watch out for. Uh, let's do roof. 45 degree. And see how that does. Perfect. Okay, now let's get rid of these, and continue our wall. Okay, 
Now we don't want a doorway. Probably here. These two right here. So let's do a gate. I like the gate. It gives us a little bit more room to go around. And then we're also going to put one door here. And this can be just a regular door. Well, yeah, this could be a regular door. Perfect. I'm not too concerned about these two sides. Since these are uh, aiming us downhill. It's kind of awkward to have a door going uphill like that. <laughs> so let's do another layer, I think, of walls. And then we'll think about our roof. What we want to do is jump up here. That is one thing about this game. You have to be able to reach everything. And that can be kind of tricky sometimes. So we'll do this. Just another vertical wall. I should be able to reach it now. Usually once you get the first one, then the uh, the other ones will usually come out pretty easily. Attaching it. Perfect. And then usually I just go on the side here and uh, start going to town. We're building. I don't actually have a window per se. What we could do is something like this. That would give us a nice little uh, window, sort of. It also gives us a gap in our door, which I don't love. Let's see if we can fix that. Nice. Okay, that's facing the right way. And, uh, that should work. What we could do here. Seems a little bit too much. It's not usually where that goes, but just trying to do a little bit of design. It's always fun to do a little bit of that. <laughs> no. Okay. So, let's do this. Let's finish off this row. We are down to our last bit of wood again. Something like that. And then for these, we're going to finish these off with a, uh, a nice... Uh... No. We will just finish off with a wooden half wall. Even if the uh, the beams don't match. They match uh, at the top. It's a little bit aesthetically displeasing, but it's not too bad. Okay, let's make sure we're uh, topped up on food. It sneaks up on you. And we're going to get ready for these roofs. So we're going to do... We'll start off with a, uh, a 26, I think. Perhaps something like this. Going around. Nice, simple roof. Starting at the, uh, the edges. Actually, not like that. But, uh, like this. With a 26 corner going in. Something like that. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> the house looks a little wonky over here because the ground's so, uh, so low. But uh, it's working out. We don't question it too much. That'll happen. And we'll just keep going until we run out of wood to place. And we're all out. Alright. Now I think we'll start chopping. So let's start chopping a few trees over here. 
This should be good for us. Timber! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was incredibly dangerous. I thought we were going to jump over that. Wow. So that's a good example of uh, how strong wood is. Did a whopping, like, 42 damage there. Oh, wow. It's crazy. Perfect. Uh, 21 wood. So you do get quite a bit from the tree there, really. And they heard me. I got you on my swing there. Could be easy just to take out a bunch of saplings too. Get quite a bit from those. Plus they grow back. Oh! Deer. Hello, beast. No. What? No, 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 no. There we go. Oh, he's still alive. There we go. Thank you for your, uh, your sacrifice there. We'll brawl you. We'll use our hands on this one. I feel confident. There we go. Perfect. Got a few more saplings here. I'm gonna go for a real tree again. Just get all of this cleared out here. Perfect. I do love the soundtrack in this game, it's so mellow. At times, like these. Ah, looking beautiful. Our home in the light. It's going to be a beautiful home. There we go. Get this stump first. Our axe is just about halfway through. Get to chop in here. Alright. Have a stack at least. We'll probably have about a stack and a half. Which will do quite a bit. Most things only cost about two wood. At least at the beginning. Well, that's not too bad. Alright. Let's. First of all, let's um, make sure that our uh, our workbench will actually work by doing this. So we can repair our, uh, our items. Okay. Perfect. We'll snap that in place and continue our little wrap around. Now this one is going to be a little bit trickier, I think. So we'll do a corner here, I think. Right? Does that look right? It doesn't look right. There we go. And then we'll do a little, uh... Oh, do we do an inner corner here? No. I think we just do a, uh... Hmm. No, yeah, we do do another corner. Do, do. Right? No. Inner corner. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure an inner corner. Right? How does this look? 